As Peterborough braces for winter, city staff are rushing to open dozens of warm spaces. At this former municipal parking lot, it's found a new life. We are meeting people where they're at, and the project has just been incredibly complex to, to figure out how to do that. Councillors Alex Burke and Keith Riel are touring this complex just before it's set to open. There are 50 tiny homes for people experiencing homelessness. This isn't a replacement for affordable housing. This is a reaction to really looking from the perspective of people that we're setting up. Each one cost around $21,000. It took six months to fully build out. All have electricity, heating and cooling, hardwired fire alarms, refrigerators, and full-size beds. They can pick their dressers out and certainly um, there's the amenities here for them, uh, cutlery, all of us here supply. Outside, there's space to store items. There are also communal washrooms with shower units. Living here isn't free. Residents will use Ontario Works or ODSP shelter allowances to pay rent. These homes are meant to be transitional until longer term spaces open up. The success of this project is riding on the wraparound supports that we're providing. Such as giving access to food and water, laundry services, physical and mental health professionals and social workers. Safety is also top of mind at this lot. There are fences, cameras and 24-7 security patrols. People are free to come and go. It's been sent for a reason. It's to keep people out, not keep people in. This space used to be an encampment. It has since moved across the street. Officials say there are up to seven people at the site. We did a poor job when uh, certainly um, the tent city morphed in here. It was sad. People that um, were chronically unhoused and living here um, were dealing with a complex set of needs that weren't being met. Here in Toronto there are 259 municipal parking lots with more than 28,000 spaces. On the east side of Scarborough Town Centre, we're looking at two of those lots. The one where I'm standing is almost empty, and the one close to McCowan is nearly half full. We went to City Hall to ask if the Peterborough project could be replicated here. Why hasn't Toronto been able to do something similar as quickly? Well, we had a different uh, administration, um, and with the election of the new mayor, we do have new opportunities. And I think it's really important when you make a commitment as a city to progressively advance the right to housing. Councillor Alejandra Bravo heads up the committee overseeing shelters and supportive housing. She says she's pushing to build on city lands, but... It's not going to happen quickly here because we haven't made the pivot yet. There has to be a study, and that will be reporting in uh, the first quarter of... Uh, 2024, um, the sooner the better. We need to make a change at the city and be open, I think, to every possible option for making sure that people are safe and that they have whatever means of a roof can be provided. Back in Peterborough, it's believed there are around 300 people experiencing homelessness. Burke and Riel say there's more to be done for people in encampments and elsewhere, but this is a key step. We're bringing an incredible amount of structure and support to the area, and I truly believe that there will be challenges, but it will represent a big change. Nick Westall, City News.